What is going on guys and girls, it is Ghost Robo and today Destiny has a special exclusive limited time event where we got to travel to Mars, the Meridian Bay on the big red planet for some Crucible Iron Banner multiplayer. And what this means is that there are no level locks, so all of your ability upgrades, all of your stats are put into multiplayer and you get to go head to head against everybody else with their full character. There's no more equalization, everybody brings it as best they can and this is a little scary because you might be facing off against someone far stronger than you and here we are in the Mars environment everything is red and dusty this is daytime check it out for a little bit and then we'll swap to a night map of Mars get up there Guardian capturing these zones that's the name of the game you got to capture A B and C hold them the skyboxes are different everything feels a little murkier a little dirtier we can see though some of the Martian city off here. I wanted to take a closer look at this, so we'll kill this guy. At least help our team take him down, grab an assist. Uh, this was a two-hour limited event where Mars was available, and now it is no longer available. Get a quick peek there at the city. Looks like it's in quite a bit of ruined state there. I'm not sure how well uh, the, the environment is going to be on this planet. Old Russia is pretty broken down, but maybe this will be even worse. I was getting wrecked uh, early on. I, I haven't played a lot of multiplayer, and so I was kind of learning my way through it and I realize that a lot of people Enemy don't play the objective most people are interested in killing each other which is great and that's fun uh, but most often you'll find yourself just sitting in these circles alone neutralizing and capturing but that's the name of the game so I try to play the, the game type as best as I can I'm still trying to figure out exactly how the loot drops work who gets loot within multiplayer that seems a little bit crazy to me and I wish more people were helping out with the objectives but I'm starting to really get into the crucible and this iron banner was a great uh, opportunity for me to practice some of the stuff you can do like the golden gun upgrade here actually in multiplayer and it's fun I guess to use your real character in the game rather than having everybody be on an equal playing field my team ended up winning that game um, and we'll get to see what the end state looks like but I don't know I, I'm, I'm of two minds like on one hand I really like when they equalize things out it feels more like a halo type multiplayer but for this game, maybe bringing your own stats in, better armor, more attack, maybe that, maybe that randomness is a little fun. Maybe that creates a little more personalization. I think I would enjoy both, probably more on the equal state, just so I don't feel like, oh my god, I keep getting wrecked by that guy with the better gun. Here you can see um, the recap screen did not do so well in my first game. Picked up 10 kills, 3 assists, a lot of captures, but no loot. I'm kind of trying to figure out how some people below me are getting loot. I'm not. Maybe I'm just not special. Santa has me on the bad list. Bungie... I don't know. They sent me empty boxes instead of full things. But we'll go right to uh, another game on Mars, this time at night. We're man in the Alpha Squad. And here I get a lot stronger. I figured things out. I know what I'm doing. You know, I'm I'm a kind of person that likes fairness. I like equality in my multiplayer gaming. So when I feel like, man, that person is just souped up, they're just supercharged. It's not as enjoyable for me because I don't feel like I have a fair shot. I will say, though, that Iron Banner, even though I was a little bit suspicious of it, was pretty darn fun. And I didn't feel that overpowered. There are definitely two specific level 8 characters in this game here. One guy's name is Mr. Allen, and the other guy's name uh, is the guy who just killed me right there, Pinto36. Uh, those two guys, they wrecked me every time I ran into them. And I don't know if that's just because they were better players. I don't know if that's because they had better gear. I don't know if that's because they just had some crazy gun that they bought. And that's why I think for myself, I'll probably stick to the control modes, the TDM modes that are leveled out and equalized. Even though I was doing better here, you know, I, I don't feel that fair picking on lower level guys. Whew, that was a close call. Probably shouldn't have meleeed there, but we go in and get the kill. And see, I'm trying to capture these dang zones. That's what you got to do in, in this mode. It's the only mode in the beta um, is control. Uh, there are talks that they might be opening up different things throughout the beta. I, I have a strange feeling they're going to open up actual uh, campaign moon mission, a strike mission later on. I bet that thing gets unlocked as we progress through this beta. And they have said that this Iron Banner segment of multiplayer will open up again as well. The doors will unlock themselves. This is a nice grenade kill in here. Throw it in there. Get him and got him. That incendiary grenade really burns when it touches your booty. Um, so I, I like Crucible. I Liked it a decent amount when I played in the Alpha, but I, I was having trouble because the map we played on had vehicles, and I felt like the vehicles were so overpowered. It's the, I believe it's called First Light. It's a moon map, and it's it's really, the vehicles just dominate. But here where there's no vehicles, ah! I don't like coming out of doors and finding Mr. Allen, but I do like, uh, I do like this 
multiplayer here, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. I am eager to see how they handle Team Deathmatch, if there's some smaller maps, maybe, because these seem pretty substantial and pretty large, but I think I could get into the multiplayer here, and, you know, it, it's interesting how, ooh, knife throw, get Mr. Allen, finally, that's our freaking one and only time we take that guy out. That was pretty sexy, I like that move right there. But it's interesting, like, neutralized. just the thought process for Bungie. You know, you want to have your character be really your character, and so in that case, you probably always want to bring in your best guy. Ah, supercharged and didn't get it on Mr. Pinto 36. He got the freaking smartest drop on me forever. Um, but you want to bring your character in because you want it to be your own. You want to feel very attached and you don't want just a generic dude. But I don't think there's anything wrong with, for multiplayer, for competitive, having a standardized character. I personally think that's A-OK -okay and doesn't take it away from anything because we all realize and recognize competitive multiplayer is, is a different ordeal. This was some very bad uh, play right there. I should not have been using my sniper against Mr. Allen. Cannot fire that thing fast enough. But you respawn available. back in pretty fast. There's very little downtime. Don't and I could see, see if you actually were playing with friends and could kind of coordinate some things and not just run around randomly capturing and hoping you're okay. It would probably be even more fun. See, I go against those guys. I tried. I tried my best. I'm leading my alpha squad here, so I'm actually pretty proud of myself. This was only my, I think, third crucible uh, round here in the beta, and it's a you got to be on your toes way more than in single player. The actual human enemies are so much faster and more agile and more aggressive than, you know, the dregs and stuff that you find out there in the fields of old Russia. But I do like that we got a new area, and I hope that for the single player side of things, they really explore a lot of varied environments here. This seems like almost like a factory or a plant of some sorts, but I hope we get to venture into the Martian city that you see off in the distance. You can see the Red Rock Mountains way over there better in the nighttime sky. Things seem to be a little bit clearer, less uh, haze and smog, perhaps. Um, but I really, this was a very unlucky. Drop down there, he charges up his freaking pulse rifle, and I'm gone. But I hope that we get to see, like, more than just industrial complexes. I know that's sort of a hard thing to vary up, um, but I really, really would like that. I think that'd be a whole lot of fun. Progressing my grimoire there, throwing some grenades. Pinto is just too strong, and that's where the Iron Banner kind of fails me, because it's like, all right, some guy is just significantly higher level than me, significantly stronger than me, and is killing everyone every single time. But I'll help this man out. Even if you get in there for one second, you get your points, and, and points are kind of what you're going for. If you want to be top of the leaderboard, if you want to help your team, you, you capturing zones is the way to go, and I hope that some people, maybe once TDM is unlocked, more people will get their fix there, and this mode control will, uh, you know, be relegated more to the true objective mode that it is, and players will play it that way and only play it if they want to. Picking up some orbs from the other characters, uh, or from the, the capture to supercharge, my ability, my golden gun. You'll notice that I do have my heavy weapon in here, um, but I can only use that if I pick up heavy ammo, which there is not a whole lot of as I get tossed around like I'm some sort of puppet. Don't do it to me. What do you guys think of multiplayer? What do you think of a multiplayer? Would you rather bring in your own character, all your stats, and just go to war that way? Or would you rather have an equalized multiplayer, um, something like we're used to with Call of Duty or with Halo? Granted, you can have level up bonuses in that, but they are balanced to be not so drastic that, okay, oh, this guy gets to start with one extra grenade versus, my god, this guy has a 70 uh, strength gun and a 89 armor versus somebody else. I try to get the supercharger on this guy. I'm like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? And he managed to pop up right behind me like no dude I shot him and then Zone he B said sayonara ghost I don't need you around here no more but yeah let me know in the comments below I'm curious to hear what you guys think if you would enjoy multiplayer which Zone style B. better Iron Banner or just straight up regular Crucible but it was nice that we got to see a totally different environment the, the multiplayer like that I've seen because I think there's been a Venus map now a moon map and Maybe an Earth map, but... That, oh, Mr. Allen. Gotcha there. Um, that's two on him, actually, isn't it? We're not doing too bad against Mr. Allen. For being level 6, him being level 8, I'm decently proud that we gotta run away. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Crawl in the corner. Ah. I'm telling ya, that guy had, like, 15 kills on me in this game. He just... He had, like, triple everybody's score. I don't know what kind of gear he had or what. But, uh... Yeah, it's cool to see the different environments. And interesting... Interesting just from a general, like, game standpoint, if they are going to keep this, like, really open, you know, like, hey, 
we are gonna unlock this event, or all of a sudden this happened. That's kind of what they were talking about in some of the early- Ooh, we almost got him there! Shoot a brick! So close, Mr. Pinto. Pinto Bean Boy. Um, what was I saying? Oh, just that if they if they really have this living, breathing Destiny world like they had talked about for a while, you know, all of a sudden, oh, th this door unlocked and there's this new map. You could drop content in. You could have special events very easily, okay. and that has me excited because it, it makes things quite dynamic. Now, I don't have the time to really just sit on Destiny all day long, so... I don't know how much I'll take advantage of that, but if they were like, you know, oh my god, for the next three nights at 7 o'clock, this door opens and you get to play this new map or this new mode or there's this new enemy type dropped into single player, you could just do a lot with the ability to sort of manipulate your world constantly, having everybody be online, everything be integrated, everything be part of one system, so as much as... I would like for there to be a linear single-player campaign. As much as I love the shooting and would like for there to be a good story to go along with it, we got the assist on Pinto finally, my dear God. But I, I would love for them to do more of a, you know, a Last of Us, true single-player style game with these controls and with this world. It seems really interesting and cool, but they're not doing that. That's just, I think that's the fact of the matter. Maybe we'll get a little more story in the full game, but... Everything that the Alpha and Beta have shown me is that that's not the focus. The focus is creating a very interlocking and integrated Enemy multiplayer world. And from that standpoint, I'm excited to see what they can do and see if they can really, really elevate things to another level. We've had MMOs, we've had games, you know, that do integrate stuff, that go crazy um, with, ooh, can we get him? Where are you? Come, come touch my golden gun. It feels good. It's soft. It's squeaky. You're gonna love it. Lick it. Smell it. Sniff it. Oh, man. Nobody wanted a piece of the golden gun. All right. Integrating the multiplayer. Like, can they create a genre-defining game that is a console title, that is a first-person shooter that does things, making people play this game for hours? Nice front flip. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. The judges' round of applause. And we can play this game for a long time and treat it sort of like a service more than a game. I think that's really what they're going for here. Um... Enemy captured zone so, C. I'm happy with Destiny so far. I know a lot of people are a bit, you know, concerned still about what the game is, and, and I, I share those feelings. It's, it's hard to know if a beta, is it going to be really, is that all it's going to be, or is there going to be more of it? But I, I've enjoyed myself quite thoroughly so far, and I'll probably put together some sort of final thoughts and review uh, once, towards the end of the beta, or maybe midway through, but it sounds like they're going to be unlocking more things throughout, that they want to do a lot of these kind of cool events, which I really, I think that's awesome, especially for a beta where all eyes are on here, and everybody's like, hey, I really want to, uh, I want to, I want to get in on that, I want to see that new map, like right now everyone's so hyped and the content is so fresh, and it's just like, I, I rushed home from being out, uh, and, and I was like, I gotta get in on this Iron Banner thing, and there was only a couple minutes uh, before it closed. I was able to get like four matches, and I think I got home at like 6.40, and it ended at 7, and they left it open until about 7.10. So I got a good 30, 40 minutes in on this Iron Banner thing. It's just, it's, it's awesome that video games are getting to this point where they can have these big betas, these big epic reveals, and I hope that they're able to carry that hype through the launch of the game, like the full product launch, the actual paid $60 put that box on the shelf launch, because it's hard to maintain momentum uh, for that long, and something like Titanfall struggled with it, so I'll talk more about that later. Right now, let's just enjoy the end of this multiplayer match, going pretty well. At times, Mars doesn't look any different from, like, you could think this is old Russia, right? If you didn't see that giant mountain in the background, and I didn't tell you it was Mars, you would not... 100% no. I think you're going to find much more definition of the planets in single player because Zone different B, enemy um, tribes and groups will be, I think, exclusive to One certain B. areas. And so you're like, oh, I'm on Mars because I'm fighting Zone against the Cabal or where, wherever they're from. I don't really remember. But that kind of thing um, in more of the Zone B. campaign will define Zone these captured. areas. And hopefully, it's like yours. I said, they have environmental tweaks that make you be like, this is Mars, this is Venus, this is the moon, as opposed to just different scenery way off in the background. But another thing this has me excited for, it's totally unrelated, but Mass Effect 4, ooh, golden gun kill. Mr. Allen says, don't do that, Ghost Rebel, you're a stupid boy. And I said, fine, I'll lay down and die for you. I'm so seconds. sorry. 30 seconds. Um, you know, Mass Effect 4, these level of graphics, big giant space roaming around. I've had a couple people ask, like, is this game just like Mass Effect? No, it's nothing like Mass Effect at all. It does not play like Mass Effect. It plays like one of the best shooters I've played in years. I love the controls of this game. I love how it feels. There's a, a snappiness to it, a responsiveness to it that just feels 
Ooh, great as I get that headshot just like that. Um, and that was like, you'd think I would have planned that, that there. I didn't. That was completely, I didn't know that was coming. And yes, perfect timing because the controls are awesome and I'm having a lot of fun. So I hope you guys had a lot of fun with this video. If you did, hit that like button, show it some love. I appreciate it. It helps me to continue helping you check out this awesome beta here. And I'll be bringing you more content throughout as we push for the level cap of eight, as we check out more multiplayer, as we figure out what the destiny of destiny really is guys and girls thank you so much for tuning in no rewards top of the leaderboard nada nothing 15 kills two assists more points than anybody else on my team and they say no ghost you don't even get a goodie bag nothing on your way out but you guys get something on your way out and that's a thank you from me for being awesome fans i appreciate you guys so much so have a fantastic day drink some hot chocolate until next time we will see you all later